Welcome with you on Santa's Gladys. Welcome to St. Gladys News. I'm Liam. And I'm Isabel. Today, this episode focuses on how St. Gladys Bargain School is steaming into the 21st century by using the latest technologies and preparing children for their future. First, let's go to early in the foundation phase, who has been investigating how ICT has been helping reception and nursery. Over to you, Ellie. Dear Cleo, as you can see in front of me, Dosmouth Class, our reception class, have been using the iPads to learn how to form letters correctly. You can see just how engaged they are. The iPads are already having a huge impact on the motivation and attainment of, of the children. Joshua is with our other reception class, Dosmouth Learning. Dear Kelly, the school are using purple masks for the precursor to work higher up in the foundation phase, where they will be completing work at home. Die out, Dosmouth Mel, and keep it up. A third favourite with the children is learning about co ordinates and direction using VBOT. Cross curricular ICT learning is very important, like St. Gladys, Bargoid. That's all from me. Back to the studio. Thank you, Ellie and Josh, for those informative reports. I understand, Liam, that you were lucky enough to visit St. Gladys Bargain School to see how they are progressing in ICT throughout the school. That's correct, Isabel. T let's take a look at my report, which shows how children are challenged to achieve their very best in ICT. I am here with a year three and four class is using a computer sheet to use different spreadsheet programs. St. Gladys Bargoid always teaches using a variety of programs and in this case is teaching spreadsheets using both Excel and numbers on the iPads. What preparation for the future? Back to the studio. This just then, St. Gladys Bargoid has been invaded with some strange symbols. Let's go to our field reporter, Eleanor, who is investigating these strange infestations. Thank you, Isabel. I'm here in the Year 5 classroom speaking to David and Zachary. They've been investigating this phenomenon. What have you discovered? These strange symbols have been found all over the school. When we scan them, the iPads show us more information and sometimes even bring up games related to the same topic. What a useful tool. These resources provide a lot of information in the future and provide extra challenges for the children through new activities. Over to you, Ross, for our animation of film segment. Many universities and animation companies have predicted that there will be a shortage of animators in the future. Jack here is creating an animation and has decided that he wants to become an animator. St. Gladys has been selected to make characters which will be used by the University of Glamorgan animation students. Another link is where the children go to the Apple Store to learn how to use iMacs and iPads for video editing. Children can gain the skills needed to be able to select which technology they need for a task. Now over to Shannon where she is talk speaking to one of the Gladys Friday editors. I'm here with Bevan who is talking to us about Gladys Friday, the school newspaper. Every half term the school produces a newspaper. We use the, the Max and the last issue sold 90 copies in the juniors alone. That's fantastic Bevan. We also made a brand for our newspaper. We picked colours, we made a logo, and we designed a website for our brand, all using the map. Here is the brand guide we produced. Thank you, Bevan. For more information on the brands, you can go to www.stgladysbargard.com and click on Gladys Friday. Back to the studio. Thank you, Shannon. That's almost we've got time for. To keep in touch with St. Gladys Burger School, you can go to their Twitter account at St. Gladys. And they are also offered a texting and email service. What an age we live in. Next time on St. Gladys News. St. Gladys has completed work with the University of Glamorgan and is turned into full feature animations. St. Gladys goes to the third ICT mark. For all this and more, tune in next time. No star. No star.